One of the major milestones in tracking the advancement of human history is the point when human beings started manipulating and using metals as tools. For centuries, the specialists in the process of shaping tools from iron and other metals have been known as blacksmiths. As the iron industry evolved over time, blacksmithing became a broad term for several specialties. A blacksmith who made suits of armor was an armorer. One who made knives and swords was a bladesmith. If he made locks, he was called a locksmith. Later, those blacksmiths who made gun barrels and triggers were titled gunsmiths. A blacksmith who made horseshoes and shot horses was a farrier. But for most blacksmiths in American history, all of these skills came into play, so they were known simply as blacksmiths. They were experts in the physical properties of metal. They constantly experimented with iron in the drive to find the most durable metal. They figured ways to harden and temper metal, even modifying the carbon content of the iron in order to use it for a wider variety of purposes. It is difficult to overstate the importance of a blacksmith in pre-industrial society. Any metal used in life had to come from a blacksmith. Even Benjamin Franklin argued for the importance of the blacksmith, stating, For the want of a nail, the shoe was lost. For the want of a shoe, the horse was lost. And for the want of a horse, the rider was lost, being overtaken and slain by the enemy. All for the want of a horseshoe nail. Simply put, without a blacksmith, living was a difficult proposition. It would finally be the industrial age that would bring an end to the art of blacksmithing in America. Railroads connected the country to factories that could mass produce hardware, and the rise of the automobile, also mass produced, meant that wagon makers were obsolete. Blacksmiths now became auto mechanics, factory machinists, or other types of technicians. Today, blacksmithing is generally an artisan specialty used for decorative or historical demonstration purposes.